All right, today I'm going to show y'all tips on tent. I know there's been a, a wide debate on what you can use on tent because not all tent is the same. Some tent might as well be from the dollar store. It ain't even worth the film is printed on some tent, which means that it could either scratch real easy or it could detach itself from the window. And I'm about to point out what detaching from the window would look like. As you can see, we had this bubbling up. And I'm going I'm to get down to brass tacks and explain to you. Look. He didn't even... He didn't even get the dots off. Alright, I'm going to get down to brass tacks and explain to you why it does that. He got finger pins all in the corner. Alright, he's going to have to redo these over again. As I was saying, certain manufacturers, some of them might give you recommendations on maintaining how to clean the tent. Some would say use plain water. Some would say use alcohol. But alcohol is a method that I use. Wood alcohol, green alcohol is what I use to soften up the lamination backing of stickers for when I'm getting ready to scrape them, as well as other types of debris and fingerprints and things of that nature, because it's a cleaning agent. So, with certain tents, I imagine alcohol could produce a challenge and when you're squeegeeing we always either squeegee to the bottom or to the side and where does that water rush down when you squeegee to the side all that water is rushing down on one end of the squeegee so what happens with tap i'm gonna show you It always pulls up from the corners and the ends first. And as you see, it doesn't pull up from the top or any of the top frames. It always pulls where the bottom of the ledge is. That's where gravity is pulling that water down. Wherever you squeegee, all that water is running. And some of that water gets caught ever so slightly, little by little, each time you clean it, that alcohol is taking up the glue behind this tent. And it starts in the corners first, and it travels upward. It doesn't take much, but I found a better solution. I found a better way to clean this tent without having to damage it and still have the the glide that most of us in the industry tend to look for when we're squeegeeing a window. Because if you use plain water or alcohol on a tent, you'll find it's like using a, a modified razor red rubber. Because I'm sure if any of you use razor red rubber, y'all know it's grippy. This is like twice as grippy. If you decide to squeeze, yeah, that's not even with razor red rubber. That's just with plain rubber on tent. You have to change your technique up. I will show you on another video, not in this segment. I will show you on another video on how you want to squeeze your window with tent on it. You have to change your te technique up. You can't squeeze it how you normally would squeeze your window without having to add some kind of bubbles in there. But like I said, you don't want to just go putting any kind of chemical on tent. 
because you can damage it over time. But I found the best soap out there for tent on God's green earth. And that's Chemical Brothers. Traditionally, it was made for cars, high-end cars, Lamborghinis, Ferraris. It's very, very gentle on a car. And it's oxygenated bubbles. So all that oxygenated bubbles lifts that dirt up. And it, it provides a smooth, slick finish. And this, this is not my words. This is what it says on the bottom. And smooth, slick finish, that makes the squeegee glide, in my opinion. And once I tried it on there, this was by accident. I tried this. And every time I'm here, I only use that stuff on one job. It's great to use it on a daily basis otherwise. But it's quite expensive soap, and also the aroma, I gotta say the aroma is very pleasant too. It smells like coconut or something. But that's what you want to do. You want to get Chemical Brothers. I ran out, and seeing as how I'm here today, the job was due. And it's, that Chemical Brothers was shipped from Amazon.com. I will leave the link below. I bought two bottles, but it, it's going to come later today. By that time, the job would have been finished. So I did it traditionally with the alcohol as recommended by, as recommended by the manufacturer of the tent. They're the ones that told me to use the green alcohol. And as you can see, the results... The results are in, and it's not that good. So I'm not the one to blame. But I'm, I switched since then. So take a look at this picture so y'all can see exactly what the bottle looks like. But I got to tell you, once y'all will try this stuff out, y'all will also agree with me. This oxygen-infused, oxygenated bubbles uh, soap is very great on windows probably one of the better soap I, I have ever used because the glide is there. It's like having an easy easy glide formula. I mean, uh, not an easy glide, GG glide formula in there. But that's all. There you have it. Take a look at this video. Back and frack a lack of peace, peace, peace. I mean, not video, but picture. And then I will upload another video on the soap consistency and how you can squeegee it just regular, even with 10, with this soap.